ancient Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa welcomes Queen Elizabeth. The British monarch is greeted by the Lion of Judah, Emperor Haile Selassie, on this royal occasion, the first formal visit by any British ruler. The capital city has been all spruced up. They even repaved the road from the airport, and people travel days from remote areas to cheer their visitors. Queen rides in the imperial carriage drawn by six white horses. During her eight-day stay, she doesn't get close enough to pet the palace lions, who are closely guarded and wear hobble collars during the royal visit. Africa Hall is the headquarters of the United Nations mission to Africa and was a gift of the emperor, who traces his ancestry back to the Queen of Sheba. During the war, Haile Selassie spent years of exile in England when the Italians occupied his country. This, he says, has drawn him even closer to Britain. Tribesmen gather from afar to lend native glory to the festivities. These are the same fierce warriors who once faced modern Italian weapons of war, armed only with their spears, and won many a battle. Before leaving Ethiopia for the Sudan, the Queen is entertained by 60,000 schoolchildren in the modern stadium. Thus, the future generation provides a colorful climax for the Queen's visit to an ancient nation. Mm -hmm.